Hey guys, it's Oda King Live uh, coming at you again um, for another YouTube chat session. This is uh, part two, and um, like I may have mentioned last time, it's just going to be discussing, you know, five or so of my uh, favorite YouTubers or the ones that are in the headlines right now or just whoever the hell I feel like talking about, and then maybe uh, something or two that I see about, you know, around YouTube going around, you know. That maybe I want to discuss. So first off, um, in my little featured YouTubers is uh, H3H3 Productions. Um, you know Ethan and Gila. I um I wasn't into them at first. For the most part, I thought you know I don't know they were just kind of you know average. But the more I watched, and especially some of their videos that I saw, I mean I don't know they they grow on you. Over time, I mean you. You start to love these guys. I mean, they're so down to earth. They're so real, I guess I want to say, um, for rather, you know, larger big to uh, big YouTubers. So, um, you know, I can't, I kind of can't get enough of them anymore. And, uh, I'm a, you know, a, you know, Elo Kleiner, Ethan Kleiner, whatever you, whatever they were calling, calling their fans. Um, uh, I'd check them out and, uh, stick with them if, um, you know, if you haven't already, because you won't be disappointed. Um, next up, I'm going to talk just a few seconds about Logan and uh, Jake Paul. Uh, they're big right now, and uh, everybody's doing vids on them. You know, PewDiePie, you know, H3, H3, all of them. Uh, the big one right now is Jake Paul with his video that he made, Every, every Day Bro. Uh, personally, I didn't really mind it, you know... Of course, it's a little on the cheese side of things, but really, if I was in the same situation at his age, I'd probably do the same thing. So, really, I, I can't fault the guy. It's It's got a relatively catchy beat. Yeah, some of the verses are weak, but, you know, whatever. I really didn't mind it that much. It it doesn't deserve the hate that it gets. Um, Logan Paul, I, I learned about not too long ago, too, but mostly because of his dab videos. I, his... His dabbing videos were awesome, especially the ones with, who was it, Tracy Morgan, I think, was in some of them. I can't remember, but I don't know. I kind of I kind of enjoyed the guy after seeing those. Those were good. Um, next up is Rice Gum. Um, he's, he's known for his diss tracks. I don't follow him too much. I haven't seen a lot of his videos. Some of them I thought, you know, were okay. He usually does ones on people that I'm not too familiar with. But his one on Jake Paul was was pretty good. I got to say, that was probably the best thing I've ever seen from him, personally. Um, my God, I mean, it was good um, with his, uh, with uh, Jake's ex girlfriend and everything. That was just crazy. Um, so you know, I'll, I'll get I'll give a shout out to that. Um, next up is actually a slightly different YouTuber. It's the Odd Ones Out. He's a comic um, YouTuber. Uh, does story times, you know, drawn to a comic about his life. Uh, his uh, really big ones, I guess, are working at Subway, he calls it, um, when he worked there for a couple years. And I don't know, it's his voice. I, I mean, I can just sit there and listen to him talk because his voice is just, I don't know, hypnotizing almost. I like it, and I'd recommend checking him out. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a couple other YouTubers that do the ex kind of the very close to the same art style, you'll notice. And a couple times I thought they were him, but then realized that they weren't. Um, next up is, again, Scarce. Like, seriously. Like, what is this, three weeks now? Does anybody know what's going on with him? Nobody's said anything yet to me, so... And, you know, within the last two weeks or so, I still haven't learned to use Instagram and... Twitter and all that stuff, so I still don't know, you know, how to check up on these people outside of YouTube. So, still wondering where he is. It's been weeks. Um, yeah, so next up, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, last time I talked about those weird streaming channels. Um, today I want to talk about kind of uh, how many kid channels there are on YouTube. And I don't mean those crazy big kid channels where, you know, Elsa and Spider-Man, you know, do it and stuff. That's... That's something totally entirely off over there. But just, you know, kids' channels in general. Just I was looking for story channel, you know, uh, channels the other day. Story, story, you know, story reading channels from, from my uh, my son. And um, 
just I came across just just how many kids have channels and, and I guess in this day and age I mean you know we're talking like eight-year-olds ten-year-olds you know public school and just how many there was I mean there must be I don't know hundreds of thousands a mi you know, millions I don't know but you know so many of them only have a couple of videos and then that's it or you know in most cases they're like super cringe I mean you know, just think about listening to like, you know, an eight year old on Call of Duty yelling and screaming or something. I mean, just they're pretty, you know, for the most part, they're pretty terrible. I'm not saying they all are. Um, one or two were pretty creative and actually pretty smart, but I just, I just can't believe how many there are. And, um, and I, I, I really just wonder how many, you know, inactive or dead YouTube channels there really are. Because a lot of these channels, you know, they put one, two, three videos up and then never again. And I'd really be interested in knowing just how many YouTube channels haven't had an upload in over a year. There must be a lot. And um, maybe YouTube, I don't know, should purge their system or something. Kind of the same way Microsoft does with old gamer tags that aren't in use. Just, you know, kind of wipe out a lot of it and uh, keep the active people, you know, more up on the scale. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, that's it for today. Um, it's just my, you know, got another five YouTubers next week already lined up, ready to go. A little bit more information there. And um, hey, I'll see you next week then. Later.